Hi everybody, welcome to another video. Today we are gonna do a DIY video. We are gonna be making a floral display and a utensils holder. So if you are interested, keep on watching. Okay, so starting off with the floral display, I'm gonna be using this um, chicken wire basket that I bought from Family Dollar, I believe. And then these peonies, they're an ivory peony with a touch of like a blush color. I also got that at Family Dollar. And I will also be using these lamb's ears that I got from Walmart. I will also be using these little tea lights I got from Amazon. I think it was a pack of six for around uh, 10 bucks. And it comes with a cork. You actually put it in like a wine bottle and and have it um, light up the wine bottle inside. It's so cute. So the first thing I'm going to be doing here is cutting off the flowers from the leaves. Um, I didn't like the leaves and I'm going to be using those lamb's ears. So we're just going to be cutting off all the flowers. Next, I'm gonna be using these foam blocks I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, the whole thing didn't fit in each one of those little slots in the basket, so I had to cut them in half and then stick them in there. Next, I'm just going to be sticking those flowers into the foam blocks. Um, I decided to do three in each spot. And then I'm going to be arranging the lamb's ears around the perimeter of the flowers. And here's how the display looks after I messed with the leaves and the flowers and got them to look how I wanted them to look. And then the last thing I'm going to be doing to this display is just stringing the tea lights on the front of it. And that will be that. And here is the final result. I think it turned out so nice. 
Um, I have a DIY sofa table that I will be making in the future and or in a future video and I think this will go perfect on top of it. So on to the next DIY. So next is the utensils holder. All the ones that I wanted were kind of too small. And then um, the big ones were well over 10 bucks and I didn't want to spend that much. So I found this glass jar at Walmart for about $3. We'll be using this Waverly chalk paint in ivory. I have some lavender stems right here. Um, I got this ribbon from Dollar Tree and I will also be using some twine. So let's get started. So first thing I will be doing is painting the outside in, with the chalk paint. Um, at first I was going to make it a solid, but then I liked the brush stroke look on it. So I just ended up leaving it. It's kind of rustic. I don't mind. I waited for the paint to dry it. I'll be putting on the ribbon now and then after I hot glue this ribbon on, I will be making a little bow with the twine. So here's how it looks after I added those lavender stems. I just added that, I tied that twine just to put that in there. And this is optional, I got these labels from Walmart and I put it on there. I actually wasn't too happy with it. I think it would have looked better if the ribbon was like a black and white buffalo check. But um, after this video was recorded and the more I looked at it, I actually ended up taking off that label. Here is the finished product. I really hope you guys like this video and please subscribe if you want to see more DIYs like this. And thank you for watching.
拜拜。